Have you ever wondered what had happened if you had not done a certain thing or make a single movement? We are scared of the dangers we know, but what of the ones we don't see? That afternoon, Alex had come to my house. We started watching YouTube videos. We loved mysteries, and for that reason, we came to one that was about the deep web. It was too disturbing, so we started looking for information about it. Suddenly, and without knowing how, we were browsing the deep web. There were terrible and disgusting images. We read stories of murders and torture in nearby places. One of the images took us to the page of an organ trafficking company. In it were photos of mutilated people and open animals on an operating table. We saw that this company was hiding behind a loving factory. The name sounded familiar, and our eyes widened to discover that this company was the largest in our city. When we were going to look for more information, the computer went dead. We remained silent for a few minutes. We decided it was better to forget what happened, and we promised not to tell anyone. Neither of us slept that night. We kept thinking about the deep web images. The next day after school, we decided to go to the wood factory. The road to the factory was full of brambles and bushes. When we got there, we left the bikes a bit away from the entrance and hid behind a bush to investigate. Nothing happened for several minutes until there was arrived with some cages with animals and got into the building. Luckily or unfortunately, the door had not closed, and we entered without thinking. At the entrance, there was nobody. The weed behind a cartoon specked. To one side was a hallway with a door at the end. We arrived at it and although it was closed, it had a glass circle. What we saw was horrible. There were millions of animal cages and some were missing their eyes. The others the user legs and many were dead. In the background we saw another cage, but what was inside was a child. Alex reacted quickly and took several photos. At that moment we heard a noise. We had to get out of there and we ran as fast as we could. Surprisingly, no one saw us. We took the bikes and fled the place. We got to my house, we went up to my room, and we sat on the bed. What had we just seen? We had to find out more, so we went back to the deep web. We thoroughly investigated the company, and discovered that it was associated with the company that supplies me to the entire region. I had to go out to vomit. When I returned, Alex told me that we couldn't keep quiet. It was too serious. We decided to write an article from the newspaper. And when we were done, Alex went home. The next day I got to class, but Alex was not there. Would she have overslept? Then the teacher entered with the director. They looked at us seriously, and she said in her broken voice that Alex had disappeared. They told us that when she got home, Alex put the trash out and never came back. At that moment I stopped listening, and I fainted in the chair. When I woke up I was in the principal's office. I needed to explain everything and I summarized what I just told you. When I finished, and a smile was drawn on his face. A smile that turned evil. The Nicky came up to me and put me to sleep with a chloroform handkerchief. I don't know how long it had been when I woke up, but I was in a white room locked in a cage. They have let me record my last will, although I don't think anyone will see this. I can only tell you to stay away from the deep web while you can. In one click, your life can be destroyed. Take it easy, if you've ever been to the deep web, don't worry. Just in case, subscribe and tell us what you found in the darkness of the web. Until the next video.